In this study, uh, we are focusing on a group of tumors that develop in uh, patients that have a genetic syndrome known as neurofibromatosis type 1 or NF1, uh, which is an autosomal dominant tumor predisposition syndrome in which these patients are predisposed to a variety of tumors of the, the brain and peripheral nerve. As part of the study, we focus on alterations or changes in a group of small genetic material, pieces of molecules of genetic material known as microRNAs. We wanted to identify changes that may be able to identify tumors that are more aggressive clinically or that we call in pathology high grade. So what we did is we uh, identify a set of uh, five tumors that are high grade and compare them with five tumors that were low grade and try to do a global analysis of all these microRNAs and see what were the difference between them. And in fact, uh, when we did this, we found a specific microRNA known as microRNA 10B was uh, the top candidate was increased in the tumors that were uh, more, uh, had this more aggressive appearance. In order to test in the laboratory the function of this microRNA 10B in these tumors, we use cultures from cells obtained from different tumors and uh, wanted to identify ones that had high levels of it. And the ones that had high levels of it, we were uh, decreasing their levels artificially. And the ones that had low levels, we increased them artificially and see what were the, the effects. Uh, indeed, the ones that had high levels, when we knocked it down or lower the levels, the cells became less aggressive. They had a decrease in invasion and migration, which is a key property of uh, brain uh, tumor cells that account for their aggressiveness. And the ones that had low levels, when we increased them, we also actually increased these invasive property. So in summary, our study has outlined uh, difference in the levels of microRNAs in tumors that are more aggressive versus the ones that are low aggressive in patients with uh, neurofibromatosis type 1. And we hope that uh, this is going to help us uh, identify changes that uh, can be used to analyze these tumors better and see the and identify the ones that are more aggressive and hopefully uh, identify uh, targets uh, that can be used to treat uh, these aggressive tumors uh, in the clinic.